Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Dem Crumbly's Tech. Today I want to do a review on the Synco M3 cardioid microphone. This type of microphone is good for capturing sound from one direction and blocking sound off from the sides. Um, right now I'm using the Rode Wireless Go system, which is good when you're sitting far away from the camera or you're stepping away a lot from the camera and you want to maintain the same type of uh, voice recording levels. But for videos where you're just sitting and talking in front of the camera pretty close like I am now, a microphone like this can actually work very well uh, and it's probably what's preferred for that type of video. So today I'm going to go through the features of the microphone, test them out and see if this is a worthwhile replacement for what I'm using right now. Okay, so let's get started. In the package, you get a TRS cable, which has this kind of telephone cord look, and that goes from your camera to the microphone. You also get a TRRS cable, and that's without the telephone look, and this goes from your cell phone to the microphone. Also comes with a carrying case, and the microphone, of course. Now, the microphone takes two um, AAA batteries, and to get access to that, you can just slide out the shock mount adapter, and take out the cover at the bottom and there's the two batteries there. Um, one thing about the shock mount adapter to note that is it's a hard plastic so you can see there's not a lot of give here. So if you know you're moving around it's probably not going to avoid um, vibrations or absorb vibrations that well but if you're stationary like I am just making videos you know then it's going to be perfectly fine and then of course you have the cold shoe adapter for the top of your camera. I forgot to mention that at the bottom of the cold shoe, there's a quarter inch screw here. If you wanted to put it on a tripod, say, but you can just remove that and then it'll sit flush on the top of your camera. In terms of the build quality of the microphone, it's all plastic, so it's not very heavy at all if it was to sit on top of a full frame camera or you know even a small um, mirrorless camera, it wouldn't be an issue. So you do have the off button on button and there's a green LED light to show that. There's a high pass filter if you need it and you have the negative 10, zero and plus 10 dB gain if you need it. There's also a two ports at the back, one of course to go to your camera or your cell phone and then the other one if you wanna monitor the audio. Okay, so I now have the microphone mounted on the top of the camera and I've removed the wireless go system. So this is what it sounds like with the high pass filter off and the gain set to zero. Now I'm just gonna test it by playing some background noise from a video to see how much it's picking up from that when the sound is coming from the side of the microphone. So I'm just gonna hit play right now. Now the sound is at about 75%. Directly at the side. Depending on if you're spending too much time in an area, too less time in an area. Okay, so I now have the microphone mounted on the top of the camera and it's connected. Now it's set to on and the gain setting is set to zero. Now I don't have music to play, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read the first three sentences in the manual and I'm going to keep my voice, um, the audio level, the same for all the gain tests so you can see there's a difference. So here it is with zero gain. Do not operate the device with wet hands. Clean the device only as described in maintaining the microphone. Be careful not to drop the device and make sure that the device is installed properly and securely. So that's with zero gain. Okay, so here's audio with the negative 10 gain enabled. Do not operate the device with wet hands. Clean the device only as described in maintaining the microphone. Be careful not to drop the device and make sure that the device is installed properly and securely. Okay, so here's another test with the plus 10 dB enabled. Do not operate the device with wet hands. Clean the device only as described in maintaining the microphone. 
Be careful not to drop the device and make sure that the device is installed properly and securely. So hopefully you were able to tell the difference between those three modes. Okay, so the next test I want to do is just to try the microphone with the cell phone for those of you who are going to be using it with the cell phone. So I'm just going to um, attach a microphone on here and then we're going to test that out. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so I have a kind of like a little makeshift vlogging thing with the cell phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record and have the microphone facing me so I can keep talking and we'll take a look at how that sounds. So this is what the audio sounds like straight from the phone's inbuilt microphone. So this is without the Synco M3. So here's a test of the audio using the Synco M3 instead of the camera's built-in microphone. Testing, testing. Okay, so after reviewing the two cell phone clips, I could tell that the clip with the Synco M3 attached to the camera, sorry, the cell phone, it was louder and maybe a bit more bassier than just using the cam the cell phone's built-in microphone. And I did have the microphone set to plus 10 dB. So I think it's definitely an improvement from using, you know, your cell phone's built-in microphone. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope the test that I did help you to decide if it's a worthwhile microphone for your camera or cell phone. I know they weren't the most accurate test because I didn't have sound, you know, monitoring equipment, but I was checking the playback levels when I was uh, playing the videos and I could see that there was a definite improvement when I adjusted the gain levels and when I turned on the high pass filter. This microphone retails for about 85 Canadian or 60 US and there's other microphones around the same price point. But this microphone, I do like that it takes two double, a, sorry, triple A batteries, which is better than some of the other microphones that take, you know, those flat CR2025 batteries. With this, I have to worry less about the battery life because, you know, there's two batteries, whereas some of the other ones just take one of those small batteries. So it's definitely a worthwhile microphone and it'll definitely be a step up if you're just using your inbuilt uh, camera or cell phone microphone. Now, if there's anything I missed in the video, let me know if you have any questions about the microphone. Let me know in the description below, sorry, comments below. And stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to be reviewing the Tacstar SGC698 and the Senko M3 microphone. Stay tuned.